so let's consider your everyday life. Perhaps you've asked to manifest something in your life, perhaps a job, a relationship, a place to live, or children. It's limitless what people are asking for. And then, as you consider your life, what clues have you received? Meaning, did anything happen that gave you insight? Did you see something when you were driving? Did someone call you that you had not spoken to recently? Did you feel nudged to try something different or look in a new place? These are most often your intuitive insights. The next question is, did you listen to these insights? Did you do anything about it? Or did you sit back to wait for perhaps a more divisive response? When I spoke of your ego or personality versus your spirit or your soul, frequently, if you find yourself receiving insights or getting thoughts or, perhaps I should try this, perhaps I should go over there, perhaps I can try up here. If there are different ideas that are coming through your consciousness, and then one after another, there's a reason why you don't do them, that is frequently coming from your ego or your personality. Are you perhaps saying to yourself, oh, it's in my best interest to be cautious? It's in my best interest to take my time. If it's really from source, I'll get another message. If you talk yourself out of situations in your everyday life, consider that perhaps that is your ego. So, going back to that same situation, while you are here in the all that is, look at the potentials if you had said yes instead of no to things that are going on in your life. As you look around, you really wanted that new job. And then if something comes up, but oh, that's not what I thought, that's not what I want. I want this. So, you talk yourself out of it. Many times, as your soul is bringing you opportunities, it is nudging you outside of your comfort zone, so that you as your soul can grow. Will you I let that energy move through every one of you? Your personality or your ego only knows this lifetime. It, therefore, likes to stay inside the box or stay inside of what it knows. It does not like to step into the unknown. Breathe in and breathe out. Look around. What I notice as I observe you is that as you are opening that doorway to your divinity, you actually have more opportunities that are coming to you. As this happens, it's important to also connect with your ego and expand your ego so that it may become accustomed to something new. Many of you have a strong personality. Many of you think this strength is what gets me where I am and where I'm going. At any given point, ask yourself, is this my soul or is this my ego? Every time that it's coming from your soul, you will immediately get a yes or no or a confirmation. If it's coming from your ego, you may get a blank, as in no answer. You may get a yes, but it may try to convince you that this is the better way to go. And that's not all bad. When you have that debate within your consciousness, if I take this route or if I take this route, it frequently is a way for you to come to a decision. However, if you find yourself split 50 to 50, then ask, what does my soul want me to do? What does my divinity want me to do? And as you ask that question, then I invite you to follow your soul or your divinity. Indeed, I just heard a number of you say, or maybe do nothing. It is always your free will, whatever you choose to do or not do. So let us clear out this space. Let us once again step into the flow of the all that is, feeling all of your potentials around you, feeling the love, your spiritual essence, and look at your life. For some, you may have a new perception. For others, it may be equal to what it was before. I simply invite you to move into a place of discernment that allows you greater understanding. For so much of humanity, fear, anxiety, insecurity can create many problems within your life. So now, at this time, choose to follow your soul. Choose to follow the divine. Choose to know that you are ever-present with your own divinity. As I was expressing that, I could feel so many of you stepping into a greater confidence. As the whole planet is moving into something that is completely new and different, some of the collective consciousness has that fear of the unknown, fear of making changes. So when you are here in this space of the all that is, become the confident person that you are. Feel the presence of your divine. Let it just be you. 
I will also say that the less of the third dimensional influence upon you, the less that feeds your ego with false energies, or false potentials, or inflated emptiness. So consider that when you get to that place of clearing out your energies, bringing in your divine, and then merging it with your ego. I see such merging and blending in each one of you, that it is as if there is this expanding energy, energy filled with light, with love, with compassion, with this new energy filled with new awareness. Yes, not only is this you integrating more of your divinity, this is you connecting with and communicating with others, with everyone in the space of their divinity. Take a deep breath in, and breathe out. I invite all of you to come together as a group. As you do so, put forth that expression of yourself as the divine, and then as that hologram of the earth comes up within the group, you send this energy into the hologram. You may see it spinning, turning, transitioning. As it does so, it may even expand further as it is taking on all this higher frequency. There is always that peace that goes out to the universe. The remainder comes down onto the earth plane. As it moves through the collective consciousness it is clearing out automatically anything that no longer is in alignment with this higher frequency. It moves down into the center of the earth anchoring with the crystals and within this energy. It then moves back up, coming up through the surface again clearing out the energy that may be old and stuck in your personality or for all of humanity in their personality. You may pull your own essence up through that anchor that you have with Gaia. As it comes up, it is going to anchor in your heart center once more. It is also going out to the rest of humanity for whomever is open to receive. You then bring the remainder of your consciousness, it comes down from the all that is, through your soul essence, through your higher self and it streams back down in and around you. You feel how it all blends around your heart center. Take a moment as this is blending and ask for a deeper integration between your soul consciousness and your ego or your personality. Then as if it is going in and out, up and down, and in every direction around you are integrating into you through your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual bodies so all may be in balance. It is clearing out any lower frequencies that no longer serve you which in turn allows you to vibrate and live your life as the divine. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. This evening we spoke about that connection or communication from your soul and that communication that you have from your everyday personality or your ego. For many, many people the perception is that these are one and the same, however, they are two distinctly different aspects of each one of you. It is important to understand for you where are you receiving communication. We never say that you should not listen to your ego or your personality because that has a lot of everyday ins and outs that are helpful to you. But you absolutely must have that open flow of information that comes to you from your divinity because that is what is truly working in your highest and best interest. So beloved, seek balance, seek an open flow, and know that in everything I am always with you. And say you yeah.